Welcome back once again, ladies and gentlemen, for another episode of Sniper Elite V2. As we've actually reached the point where we have to stop this V2 rocket from going into London, we must save millions of lives, tea time, and that is the family tree of Total Biscuit. So, here we go, trying to save London from getting totally annihilated. And the fact of the matter is, this place is freaking loaded with guards. So, we're going to have to try to pick them off at individual points. Because, as you can see, they're like literally flooded the area. We're going to have to actually do some crawling. As you can see, they're still doing some fighting amongst each other. And hopefully, I catch a break here to kill this guy. Okay, maybe I did that a little bit too close. Going for some cover. Hopefully they did not see me. Oh crap. Give me some cover. Thank you. That was close. Okay, now we got one Russian over here who... Oh crap. Here he comes. Well, so much for him. So, I think this may just be the end of the beginning. There's gonna be like almost an endless supply of guards here soon. It gets to the point where it's pretty heavily fortified around here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh crap, here we go. Yep, here we go. This ain't good. Okay, there we go. Now this is where it all breaks through, right here. Good, it was only that one guard that caught us. So at least the cover from my explosion gave us just enough to take him out. That's the thing right about now, you gotta be so careful in this area. One false move can really blow your cover for everything. And this is pretty much how you have to proceed because there's guards everywhere. Well, you really don't have to proceed this way. It's mainly up to you. You can go ahead and go crazy first head in. Of course, you'll wind up dying. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Uh oh. It's a cover. Thank God for cover. Who spotted me this time? Oh, okay. Well, so much for him. Well, this ain't good because we're still... We've still been noticed. Somebody still knows we're here and... Uh-oh. Where? Yeah, I think this is gonna get ugly from here on out because... There's mainly just a bunch of guards over here and they're just gonna keep on respawning. Okay, I think there's another gun up here we have to take out. We're gonna have to get moving. There's another gun over here we have to take out. Okay, there's our guy. Okay, two gunners taken out. The main thing ultimately though is going to be the fact that these guys are just going to keep coming back. And they're just going to keep remanning, refiring, and uh, yeah, just redoing the whole situation. So we have to at least try to find a way to get over to this trench over here. That's how we proceed to the next mission. Yeah, okay, now our, our cover is officially blown at the one before. At least we can get rid of this guy. Okay. The f 
fire. I was going to say, who's firing on me? It's just a fire from the truck. That's the one thing you will have to keep an eye out on, unfortunately. Uh-oh. So one of the gunners may have gotten an eye on me here. Alright, we're going to have to get a move on before they come back. I think there's somebody up near this church ahead anyway. Oh crap. Okay, so there's, there's a gunner. Off to the side over there in the middle. Unfortunately, we can't stand. Can we stand? Oh crap. And we got an incoming grenade. So much for the grenade. I think the church should be clear now. I didn't plan to come in this fast. This was definitely not part of the plan. So my cover's been blown and I'm just basically going headfirst into this whole area. This church is a good place to be in, though. This is one of the areas you definitely want to hit first. You got lots of ammo up here, and it provides good cover. And as you can see, we got a nice little beat on this guy right here. Well, we can take him out. We're slowly approaching where we have to get to the trenches. Have to hope and pray that nobody. Crap. Looks like they've remanned some of these guns. Now we gotta get moving. Alright, now we get to move on to the next fun step. And this is gonna require a little more stealth than before because we got a guy here sneaking around. At what point we are tasked to find the V2 launch site. It's not really far now. We just follow this path of gutters and trenches and such. Of course, stealth is like utmost around here because now you're in the heart of the enemy territory. And one slip up could be deadly. We just want to check around here because some of these will have ammo. Doesn't look like this one had ammo in it. And we will reach a point where we will see guards come running. At least once. So we'll have to be prepared. Okay, so far so good. We haven't seen nobody yet. We're coming up in one of these little hidden areas. As you can see, we got a pair of legs down here. So we got one German officer, it looks like, down here. One Nazi officer. He's down here drinking his coffee or whatever. Whatever drink he's drinking, of course. Boom! That's how we drop him. It's a quick shot from the well rod. And we got another one down there. Which point we want to stay low and continue using the well rod because we want to take this guy out. We have to be careful because there is a Russian soldier sneaking around here. Oh, that's close. I thought he was going to find us. And unfortunately, there's no kind of sound cover here. So it is what it is. If you want to stealth around here, you have to use the well rod. There's no other option, unfortunately. You know, we have to try to hope and catch this guy off guard. Uh-oh. I botched that one. Good, at least I was able to pick that one up. 
Okay, so we were able to drop two of them here. We could probably just sneak out this little hole over here. Oh, wait a minute. Can I get a beat on this guy? The more enemies we could take out, the better. Oh, crap. Okay, so we got one coming over there, and we got one down there. And, unfortunately, he is coming our way. So we have to be careful. If he gets too close, we can take him out. But if he don't get close enough, this could be disastrous. Okay, took him out, luckily. Okay, this could be it. Perfect. That couldn't have gone any better. Okay, we can get up. And claim our prize from these guys, because they ain't doing no good. Okay, a bunch of bullets. No. Too bad. I like the Thompson, but too bad we can't get enough ammo for it. I really felt they should have given you more ammo. Alright, continuing along at a painful pace, trying to stay stealthy. Unfortunately, I think there will be a point where we will have to break stealth. Because we're going to be threatened by a sniper. It'll be coming up soon enough. As soon as we break out of here, we can go back into uh, creeping around corners. That's another ammo room. You can go down there and feel free to loot if you need to. At this point, I'm pretty comfortable doing what I'm doing right now. Now we just have to be careful because there is an enemy sniper on this other side of the building over here. Over in that church. So it's going to involve... A little stealth element here with the ability of hiding around corners so this guy don't see us. And there he is. You already seen us beforehand. Okay, well now that they've slowed that shot down pretty well. And we've alerted everybody we're here. Like I said, it was a point you really can't avoid. Just continue to sneak along, head up this ramp here. As we'll be approaching the office soon enough. Now what the office is, it's going to be the area where you'll watch the V2 rocket get fueled. And if you, as if you've seen the intro, which I didn't show here. You can only shoot the V2 rocket once it's full of fuel. So you kind of get stuck in a... You kind of get stuck in a bad position. Okay, so there's not much around this general area right here. Now this is the actual station right here where you will get ambushed. Because you will get discovered whether you like it or not. It's just a matter of how long can you stay alive. Of course, once again, you can use the well rod to go in here and make things easy. Like that. Okay. Well, it wouldn't have mattered anyway because they're still going to come after us. Defend your position. Someone's going to come in and they're going to discover us. Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. This is just how the game goes, and I wish it could be different, but it is what it is. Just a matter of which way this guy is going to come in. Will he come in through the stairs or the door? Normally they like to come in through the set of stairs right here. I'm actually surprised they haven't come in yet. Okay, sounds like someone's coming. Okay, we'll see now our stealth's blown. And now it gets a little tricky here. First thing you might want to do if you want to hide in this corner, take a sniper out over here. He'll be rather annoying, but with him out of the way, it'll make it a lot easier. Now you will have to be careful because ultimately what will happen 
is that he'll come back every so often to bring another one to come in. If you want to do it the easy way to get past this, just kind of camp this corner and wait for them to come in. And believe me, there'll be plenty of them coming in. Like I said, this is pretty much draw the luck, at least it was for me. And of course, I'm not the best shot, so if you're a good shot, you'll probably survive this part. And you'll see a mission objective when it's time to shoot the rocket. Okay, I wasted more bullets on that than I really should have. And there's no real point right here to switch from the sniper rifle. It still does the job pretty good. I mean, those guys are out there firing at you right now, but there's no point firing at them because you're going to get flanked right here. Now, if you want to do it the good way, and if you got time, you could put trip mines down them steps, and it would make it a lot easier. So the next time they would flank you, they come up and hit the trip mine, and you could probably get about two trip mines set up in that thing, so you'll have some cover. But like I said, they're going to come in like this, and they're going to try to flank you. And then there's going to be a lot of them. There's, what, three entrance points. There's the stairs and the two doors where they can come in at. Right now, I think they just rather stay outside and waste their bullets. Which, hey, I'm not going to complain about. Just give me the mission ending and I'll take a shot at the rocket and we'll call this a mission. Okay, well, since no one's come yet, let's get a quick peek. Uh-oh, there he is. We had one. There's another one. And you gotta take these guys out quick too because sometimes they can come in groups of two or three. That sniper back. Unfortunately, he's not back. So we'll continue to hold this position. Okay, that was pretty good. We'll continue to hold this position. We come back. Nothing. How's that rocket looking? Okay, it's almost there. Okay, that's close. Just gotta wait for that mission objective part to pop up and we should be good. Any minute now. Okay, any minute now. Come on. Before it's Gatari in here. There we go. That, ladies and gentlemen, is the cue. You suck in and you do this. Then you profit. And you watch the sweet, sweet explosion as you slowly walk away like a badass. That's right, Mr. Badass. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you found this video informative or at least entertaining. You know, please give it a thumbs up if so. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again next time for our, which I believe is our last episode of uh, Sniper Elite V2. This was the second to last mission. And I think all that's left is to kill Wolf. So I'll see you again next time.